Hello, I'm Linda from paperboutique.blogspot.com. A few weeks ago, I made a fun video on how to make homemade post-it notes and promised I'd do a video on how to make the bow I used when I packaged my notes. Well, this is obviously the bow that I made and for today's video, I thought I'd use a pad of six by six inch paper and wrap it with the bow so it'll be easier to see than wrapping a smaller package of post-it notes. Wrapping a pad of paper is a little harder than wrapping a bow, so I thought we would start with the toughest one to do. You can apply this technique to any package just by adjusting the length of the ribbon. Well, before we get started, let me show you the supplies. Uh, the ribbon I used, and I think I bought this from Target, is just curling ribbon, and I, I don't remember, I've had this forever, so I don't remember how expensive it is. But I found this great ribbon at um, the dollar store, and it, let me see how many yards is in this. It is 300 feet for a dollar, and it comes in just fun, fun colors, and it also comes in this metallic, which I think would be just fun to add. You know, you could add it in with your white ribbon or do a whole bow with metallics. It would be super easy. And then what I did is I just cut a bunch of six by six inch square pieces of scrap paper and I used a binder clip to hold the papers while wrapping them, so it, it, it'll it make them a little bit more sturdy. Now, I'm going to use uh, the regular curling ribbon, and I, first I wanna let you know, we live in Montana, and it's very dry here, so there's a lot of static involving curling ribbon, and so what I did is I ran a dryer sheet over the curling ribbon, but you'll probably see me struggle a little and a lot of it's due to the static. So hopefully when you do this technique. What you're gonna do is cut a piece of ribbon that will go all the way around the package and cross in the back and then come back and tie in the front. And you'll just have to kind of experiment on size. For this particular package, I measured it just to give you an idea and it was 72 inches. And I cut it, and I'll show you most of it. I cut it in half, or I didn't cut it, I folded it in half. You could do just a single length of ribbon and then you could just spool it off your, your roll of ribbon so you wouldn't have to worry about measuring. But I kind of like the look of a double piece. I'm gonna try to straighten this out a little and you'll see some of the static. It's folded in half and then what I'm gonna do is try to approximately get that in half again and we'll do it right here in the middle. And what I normally like to do is just do it, put it down right in the middle like this, and then turn, turn it over. And I'm hoping that this is in camera. And one will go to the top, and one will go to the bottom. And you'll just kind of play with that. So you get it in the center. And then you're gonna come around. And this one in the middle, you can move down, and I'm hoping you can see that. And then I'm just trying to get this kind of in the in the center and it's not going to don't worry when you end up curling the ribbon you can see I'm nowhere near they're nowhere near the same length even though I tried and all you're going to do here is just tie a knot and this is where it's really nice to have another set of hands but since I don't I'm going to do the best I can and I'll show you that even if you don't get a super tight knot with this technique you're going to be okay so you just pull it through and then I'm just gonna pull it down. And don't worry, don't worry about this. I'll probably go ahead and trim this just so it doesn't, doesn't get in our way. We're gonna curl this later. And then I just kind of move it around until we get it in the center. Now, and this length will depend on, you know, how deep your package is, et cetera. Now, what I like to do, and this is kind of the fun part, is I've cut four pieces of ribbon that's 24 inches long. And I know you, you can't see it all in frame, but if you were wrapping a larger package, you could cut this 36 inches or 48 inches, just depending on how far out you want the bow. But I just put a binder clip here to, to kind of hold it. And then what I'm gonna do, now there's a lot of different techniques. You could have wrapped, you can put this extra ribbon right here and then tie it with these two strands and that's one technique. I prefer to do this technique to give it even more, a little bit more stability, especially if you're, 
you know, traveling with your package or mailing it. So what all I do is I slip it under, and I hope you can see that. And once again, I'm trying to get it even. And when you're not being filmed, it's a lot easier to do. And then all I'm going to do, you can see the static. It is so funny. It's just flying away here. Uh, all I'm going to do, yeah, it's full of static. Now let's just try it again. I'm going to take this and then pull it through. And we just have a regular knot. And don't worry, your bow is going to cover that. And then what I do is I just will tie it, tie it again. Okay. And now what I'll do is I'll come in and I'll cut this other, other piece here. And then I will take my scissors and I'll just kind of pull them out. Oh, and the one thing I do want to mention is you can actually use curling ribbon. You can curl it on either side. Sometimes you'll get a tighter curl curling it one way. Um, sometimes you get a looser curl if you go the opposite direction. But what you're supposed to do, and I, I don't think you can see it here, you're supposed to curl on the flat side of the curling ribbon. And then all I do is I just bring my scissors really down close and then just go ahead and curl. And that one I didn't get quite as tight as I liked. So what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll curl it. And then I'll go to the, I'll just kind of move it along here. Let me take another one. I'm not going to take your time to do all of these. Here, I'll just take this one. You can probably see this better. And then I just pull it. And the tighter you curl, the, I mean, the harder, the firmer you curl. Like the, the <laughs> let me explain that again. If you're holding it tight against the scissors like this and pulling, you'll get a tighter curl. If you hold it a little looser against the scissors, you'll get a looser curl. Well, I'm not going to have you watch me do all of the curls. I'll go ahead and just curl what we have here and we'll get back together in a minute. Okay, we're back. And what I did is I just went ahead and curled all of the ribbon and then I'm just gonna remove the binder clip and we're basically finished. But the one thing I wanna be sure I mention to you, remember when we tied in the four strands, if you wanted this bow to be fuller, which I think I, I probably would like it a little fuller, you could go ahead and tie six strands of 24 inch ribbon when you're, when you're doing that. Or what you can do is even now, if you want more strand or more, a wider ribbon, you can just put your, um, ribbon right under the center and move the bow, you know, move all the curls aside and then just add some additional ribbon to it, which is really cute. And let me, because see this one's a little bit fuller and I, I think I actually like it fuller and I used four, four strands on this one. So I think I would use probably six on this. Well, I would like to thank you for watching and please visit my blog, www.paperboutique.blogspot.com for more projects and ideas. Bye-bye.